Another bounty. Fuel can. Lisa, I... Go away. I brought you something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work.
Captain St. John. You out there? We got a job for you here at Peaceful Lake. Go. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll head your way. St. John out. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I oh, know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. All right, so you wanna put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. 
There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants, and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. <sighs> Last one. Great, bring them here. Wow, gallantry is alive and feral after all. No, well, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs>
Oh, here we go. That should be it. It doesn't look too bad. Good. Uh, sorry, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before. Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. With my arms feeling, I'll try anything. But fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever. I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it. You're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just don't stir crazy up here, you know? Ah, don't worry, booze man. Right north, I swear to God, that's too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, now.
Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. To, we were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> She taught me how to make this sap for Burns and, uh... Look, I got out today, okay? I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey. Just give me a couple days. Okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. the girl. If you've hurt her, I swear to God. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna fucking kill you all whether you hurt her or not. Hang on, Lisa. I'm coming. What's this? Lisa's? Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. Small footprints. Girl's size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. Okay. If you hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you.
set you free. You join us, or we will set you free. Yeah, why don't you find the path? They're dead, asshole. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with you freaks?
get in there. Finally. I bled for car- No one is joining you! Look, now you're found, yeah? Yeah! Fire! 
This has got to be up there. I'm coming, kid. more than you. Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Shut up. It's, it's me, it's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right, it's all right, come on. 
I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. Right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here. Uh, oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! 
That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid, uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. It's like I said, Iron Mike. He's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. Got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. He bothers you at all. Well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it.
hot springs to Deacon St. John. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Oh, Blizzard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Blizzard, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Don't come any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! With the gun. Oh, the gun, buddy. No, I will not! Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I... I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You got no, blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn, I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I... I mean, you know, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was, it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... Yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Yeah, okay. Where are we going? Deke. You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were... They were all choked up with cars. There were so many people. All on the move. Thinking that they, if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking, and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, no, it's only a matter of time. Towards our chart. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... Wait, do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we gonna do? Yeah. Maybe I've been watching.
With a soldier's eyes With a soldier's eyes <laughs> What are you? Same as me. Lost Probably Lake. some drifter. Oh, that now we're dragging shit. me out here. Shit. We're supposed to guard the camp, not wander around jerking off. Oh, Could have been rippers. Oh, against the two of us. Oh, no. Really? We could get them before they. No, 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 no. See, that's what we thought too. Me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. Uh, you know, not far from here, really. We kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was up. And you know, rippers love the night. We heard him coming first. We can, we can, we're coming straight out of hell. So, there, there were maybe four we could see. So we open up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him and I fired him. Fired? Yeah, I killed him. They were tearing him apart like goddamn creepers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, if you go after the Ripley, you better have that. What the? Something's here. Who the hell? That girl, Lisa, whatever, the new one. She cries all the damn time. The first few so days, she kept me up all night. What's her deal? She just came in from the shit. What do you want? Shit. Even money? We kick her to the curb before a month's out. Iron Mike won't go for that. He doesn't pay that much attention. Does he even know she's here? I think she's hard to miss. She does cry all the time. But she has been quiet lately. Maybe she got realized that that was Actually, I haven't seen her in a while. What? I saw something. Yeah, I thought I saw someone. Something's out here. How the hell are you gonna keep the peace with a bunch of crazy-ass lunatics who got themselves? How can you trust anything like that? Anything? These are people, not freakers. That's debatable. What's up? Sign a peace treaty like we're the goddamn woman. You show up on the What was it? Something's out here. Anything? Who was that? What was it? How's it going? Yeah. What? 
Someone's here. Huh? A rock? Someone's here. Something's wrong. Oh, shit. Iron Mike. Schizo. Son of a bitch. Raymond? And the men we buried? They were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave him for the police. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you know it. We gotta hit him back, or the Rippers are gonna... Raymond, huh? Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. Something's here. What's up? And what about the next one, Mike? And the next? Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer? Yeah. No proof of that. Hey, They're that was a rock. Annoyed. I heard one of those Radio Free Oregon broadcasts. Claims they got... How's it going? Something's here. Well, they may be enough. But I think he's no a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher. Something's out here. here. Come back. You know, Addy, don't like it. You snooping around in her business. Hey, you said it. Not me. I'm not laughing. Now, come on. Come back later when Addy's here. I want to talk to the. There it is. Just gotta find a way inside. Addy will take care of Addy and Ricky are a thing. Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going to them? What about the next one? Oh, man, that's like. The next. Just curious. Hell, Carlos is already pushing. Got it. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addy. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What the hell are you doing in my infirmary? Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look. Why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. Like, had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? Do you remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. in my classroom. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rogue camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! 
It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking? Sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She's been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's good. Tumalo to Boss Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Boozer? You doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? I, huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He was gonna get us killed. He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take yeah, care of it. Guys, just, just a couple of days. No. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Ride north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so... I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? <sighs> and until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Oh, uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just, he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway. And Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. When I You've was always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to you kill it. saw a bunch of freaks. <sighs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I think they group together like that for a reason. I mean, like a... No, the mines are gone. I remember reading about it. The virus I made before. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. 
much. Addy is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it! Don't call me that! I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. Don't you. start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. You were supposed to fix that weeks ago. Oh, so what? Ricky told you're me you stopped running Addy, for Tucker. So now I gotta go over Sent that little girl box. here instead. Isn't I'm sorry I lied to you before no, about doing runs for job. Tucker. My job is keeping the camp safe. Addy's job. Nope. Go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Listen, knife. Head to Sherman's camp. The place is going to be crawling.
Hold on a sec. I'll open it. Brian, is that you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's O'Brien. You still want my radio is good. Okay, look, I'm gonna try and help you find out about the woman. Sarah Whitaker. Put her on your chopper that way. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Brian, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There'll be Nero soldiers all around me like before. Don't let them see you. Oh, Brian, out. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. Uh, you feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper. Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. <laughs> Nest. <sighs> Gotta be right around here. Another bounty. 
The door's locked. I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, Tony. You have no idea how bad we need this. No problem. Glad to help.
son of a bitch! that knife you were looking for thank you so much yeah no problem hey uh, I gotta ask you I heard you riding in last night with Ricky and uh Who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bell. Uh, I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he... Right. Mm. See ya. Oh, hey. Yeah, hi. Let's see. Yep. Here they're in. Yeah, someone's trapped. I gotta yeah, get help. Get out of here. Jesus, don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 it's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order the without question. Team, look, just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help. Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. Close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. 
What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the people <laughs> above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Here, what are you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? The destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you I'm Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Please don't lose them. Come on now. Can't let him get too far ahead. I'm slowing down. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guide, like me, guarded by a bunch of units. I need you to get close to the researcher. The wave of recorder is sent to the channel we use to record data. You record everything. So you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, the saddle. Lights. Place one of them on the Anyone else hear that? Most all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking to what records we have about where evacuees are taken. O'Brien out. Yeah, it's just gotta be good. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Hungry? 
Freak while it's it was fine. still alive. It's fine. They're not like boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a. What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill them in fact? Good for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? <laughs> yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. <laughs> O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! Anyone else hear that? God damn it, he did it again. Civilian! I, I am not going to ask you again! Still alive. They're not my boys. What do you care? Aren't you a much longer? What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? How the hell do I know? Don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I know, sir. I got your data. Stop! Hold on. We could be friends now. Still alive. Does anyone else hear that? They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a. What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill them infected for money or whatever shit you part of? <laughs> yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. We're done. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! God damn it, he did it again. Brian, talk to me. Shit, you better not talk to O'Brien. You'd really like to hear yourself talk. Shit, it's gonna be dark soon. Let me out of here, sir. Murdering Drifter Camp. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been wanting. Absolutely come true. When those choppers touched down and wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. <laughs> 
Okay. Last we hear from either. Please, uh, hunting us down. I'm coming for you. Those of us who dare to survive and miss with their plans. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. All right. Where are you, kid? There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. You gotta be around here somewhere. Here, yeah, this will do it. Inside here. Later, burn out these nests. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. <sighs> Sounds like something she would. Yeah. 
Scrap. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, mm. booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. Mm -hmm. Never enough. Now, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. 
Dick, Dick. So, are you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. Uh, you getting it? What was I doing? Medicine, I doctor shit, it. cargo hold full of it. <laughs> Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. It. Just like that. You know. Where? Hey, uh, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alike. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes. Okay, yeah, no, like no, I get it. I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. Ran into a bunch of crazy ass, almost naked, all scarred up. Took a knife. I can fix this. Done. I'm not looking to start shit today. Just mind your store.
hell do you want? Are you open or what? <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. Later.